First thing is that university PRN number you have to write down from your uh, mark sheet. It is starting from 7, it will end at the alphabet. Then uh, on the mark sheet you can see here it will be 5th and 6th is written. So 5th one is that semester 1, okay, in every semester, okay. In the first year you are getting 1 and 2. In the second year you are getting 3 and 4. In the third year you are getting the 5 and 6 and you know your subject of the semester 1. So the semester 1 subject you have to just uh, first you separate out, okay. And then these are the grade point and these are the credit point you can see it here so what you we asked it in the form you have to add this first semester credit point that is called the summation of crd same one so if you can check it this slide you can if you add all these things then you are getting it will be 23 then you have to add the grade point also first semester subject grade point so it subject is coming 165 okay then you have to again calculate now the SGPA for the semester 1 and the formula is the summation of the GP grade point divided by summation of the credit point semester wise. That means it will be 165 divided by 23. Your SGPA is 7.173 for semester 1. For semester 1. For semester 2, do the same thing. This is your credit. Credit point is again 23 as the total credit point is 46. Okay, you can see here also. You just see here it will return as 46. Okay, that is the total credit point. And then you find out the grade point summation of the semester 2, 219. And then SGPA for the semester 2 is the 219 divided by 23. It will be 9.521. Okay, now here you can just refer my cursor. If you can visible it is the third year SGPA is written 8.35. But that is the overall SGPA. In, in our, uh, our, our data placement data company requires the semester wise SGPA. Now to find out this 8.35, if you want to find out or cross check it, you just do that SGPA semester 1 plus SGPA semester 2 divided by 2. Find out the average, the value is coming 8.35 only. So that is the one thing you remember, okay. And the second I just show you also the one backlog subject paper. <coughs> one backlog subject also. The here sin, if you are backlog in any of the subject, your SGPA is not calculated in this case. Okay. So this student is just, uh, probably having the backlog, you just checked it. This subject is a backlog, it is shown, it is in zero. Okay. So first you have to find out again total credit, total grade. Okay. But from this credit point, grade is automatically coming zero, he is getting the zero marks on that one. Okay. Credit earned is zero actually. Okay, but when you add the credit point, you have to neglect this four. You can see here that subject which, which is failed, that credit point is also to be neglected in your calculations. So what you have to do it when you find out that uh, summation of credit, it has to be 23, but you just add it by 20, 24, uh, it, it has to be 25, I think probably. You just checked it with this uh, case study also, 25 minus four. So you have to take it as a 21 only. Basically, I have to tell you that if you have failed, you don't have to credit point. Ko aapko lena nahi hai. Now, old uh, uh, mark sheet or printed mark sheet, this was an earned credit point in the table, where it will be automatically zero. If you add it, you will get 23. But the uh, soft copy, you don't have to show the earned credit point. Se. You need to check it. Okay, if on credit point, denge, it is automatically coming zero. If total credit point, denge, to you have to eliminate that backlog point. So credit point is 21. Grade point automatically is zero. So if it hoga, zero, if it does still that, that marks to be also uh, neglected to add it on the grade point. So without this, it will come in 153. Formula is coming same. Here it is written clearly. If any subject is not clear, then neglect the subject credit point as well as the grade point in the summations to calculate SGPA of the semester. And then you have to calculate the SGPA of the semester is that uh, GP summation of GP and summation of the credit point and his value is coming 7.825. In that mark sheet, it will come in the dash. So you have to calculate and you have to put that SGPA for the backlog time also. Is it clear? Is it clear, I think? Someone can give me the yes. answer. 
Yes. yes. One point also I just want to explain you. There is a one question is asked in the CalExpot also. That is a live backlog and date backlog. Okay, that is also I have to clear to you. The date backlog means till third year, any of the semester, you have one backlog. Any of the semester. Semester one, first year, two, three, four, five. Till five, fifth semester, any of the semester, any of the student is having one backlog in the oral practical theory, then that's called the date backlog. So how many date backlog you have, you have to add it and write down the quantity of that one, the number of date backlog. So if you are having one backlog in semester one, no backlog in semester two, but third semester is again one backlog, the total additions to be the two date backlog. That is the meaning of the date backlog. What is the meaning of the live backlog? You are now in the third year, second semester. In the second semester paper, with your regular paper, if you are appearing to any of the backlog subject, okay, then that is called the live backlog. Live backlog means now in the present semester, in the coming semester, if you are giving any backlog subject with your regular subject, then that is called the number of live backlog. Okay, so I think you understood the date backlog and live backlog concept. Many students putting wrong thing and once it will be wrong thing, what happen I just also tell you in this case if you putting wrong thing, when we filter the data according to the eligibility criteria of that student, okay, and we send it to the company, your data is not coming uh, properly. Sometimes someone is putting wrong data, it will again hamper your own image. When it will be checked by the company, then you are disqualified I, after getting to that because, last round also, after going to the last round also. So be careful, you are in the third year now, I think you have to understand anything, any confusion, see my this video and then according to that one, fill it, still problem, you can ask the coordinator also.